Hey, Gail. This is the big mama machines. <laughs> is this your new toy for your boat? No. <laughs> This would be called a cruise ship. <laughs> this is not my boat. This would be a uh, ocean-going liner. You know? Anyway, this is the uh, Agro, which is a commercial machine for like, oh, you know, your fast stop gas stations and stuff like that, where people okay. can go up and actually make their own. Cool. Or you could use it in a gallery, a bar, something like that. Anyway, restaurant. Hotel, cruise ship. Hotel, any, yeah. It's yeah. by Ranchilio. By Ranchilio, the Agro, and it happens to have the refrigerator hooked up to it, too. It's tethered together. You can see that back in there. Nice. But you can just put a gallon of milk in here mm -hmm. and put the tubes in, and it has, oh, I'll get into that, a couple of feeds for milk. In any case, you can program up to 48 different drinks in this. So... These are the favorites right here, the best sellers, what they call best sellers. Hot water, all these different ones. Get into teas, different teas. And so people can just walk in and do this themselves. You don't Correct. Know, you could have an operator or just the general public yep. do this. Okay. Exactly. Um, it has two boilers, uh, two bean hoppers, one for regular, one for decaf, which are removable. Uh, hot water here, uh, manual steam wand if you want to. Well, actually it's not manual. This has a temperature sensor down here on the bottom. You take the cup of milk, you leave it there, you don't move it. It's if you the move ice steam. Yep. It screws it up if you move the milk. So you just leave it sit there, let it do its own thing. Okay. Uh, hot water, like I said. This goes up and down. It's got a... Tall and short. A funky blue disco light underneath it's it. It's got lights as it's, uh, yeah, as it's coming on. When it's not ready to go, it's red. and So... Oh. And down, oh. down here is where the dregs box is. It's got a huge dregs box. Okay. And this is, we have it hooked up here. So is it a plum? You it's have to a plumb plum. it in. Okay. Yeah, it's a plum, but we didn't bother to plumb it in. And then it has a drain as well. Got just, it. I'll read you some of the technical stuff about it. It can do 250 espressos in an hour. Whoa. Uh, let's say hot water, 36 liters in an hour. Um... 18 liters of coffee in an hour. Mm -hmm. So it's got a lot of different things that are, uh, in it. it weighs 186, 189.6 pounds. Okay. Bohema. Yeah. And this giant. is a high price tag. We're not, I don't know what the price was, but it's high. Between the two, I think it's around 16 grand or so. Okay. With the so two. it really is an investment for a, kind of a commercial setting. Oh, yeah. But um, Definitely. Yeah. You can do screens. This will go into a screensaver mode. And you can hook your uh, USB up to it and actually download Screensaver, uh, whatever p photographs you have for your business. Buy a hot dog! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you can get into the programming by holding this on. And then I guess, so we do, we have had people call and ask and say like, hey, you know, um, I'm trying to do this, but, you know, drive through, blah, 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 blah. Something that's pretty easy to do, not a lot of mm -hmm. training for the staff. Exactly. This thing is so simple. And I got the hot, some of the hottest, uh, I did a cappuccino. I've done a cappuccino every day on it for uh -huh. myself and it was very hot. Okay. Well, how was the flavor of the shot? It was good. Very okay. good. So you can get into a, uh, it does a daily, you should do a daily cleaning mode on it. And these, the daily cleaning does, uh, it does the coffee side and the milk side. It's got two, look down here. It's got two spouts for milk that come out. Milk comes out of here, coffee mm -hmm. out of here. So you can do all these cleanings in a day. So it does both automatic milk frothing and then you can do and then you can do the wand as well, the ice cream yes. wand. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, why yeah. would you want to do one over the other? I don't know. I guess if you're doing hot chocolate or something like that, you'd want to steam it yourself. It does the automatic milk frothing, does it do a nice microphone to it? Or maybe uh, if you wanted to do latte art or something, you'd have to do the other one? Or I would say that the, this, the manual arm does a better uh, foam than, I, I than, than the automatic. Got it. So then <laughs> you can get into the technical data and you can change all the coffee, like the ristretto is up there right now. But wow. You, but you could choose from all these different things that you can change on that one drink, even the price. Nice. So you can do that on, uh, let's see. 
See, I can do anything. <clears throat> These are all the drinks that you can do. And set them. And then out. that, and then they are represented on that front panel mm -hmm. where, that people can choose. Yeah. Or do you set? Do you pick and choose between these to see what is displayed? You can just yeah no you can pick and choose okay on all of these what's displayed and then you can get into like the too long espresso that's the too long espresso I can change that and make it whatever I want mm -hmm. there are forty eight of these different drinks in here that you can make options to the public cool all right um, any other stats basic function stuff you want to talk about before we make a latte um no I don't think so I think it's just a I was very surprised. It's an excellent machine. Yeah. Okay, let's pause, and we'll make a latte and be right back. So we're going to do one totally automatic, and then you're also going to steam up some milk and show us how that works. Yep, okay. I am. So I'm going to do a cappuccino. You'll be able to see it. Not, yeah, it's definitely not a microphone at all there. No. Do you have control over that at all or no? No. Okay. This you have quantity control but not uh, quality. Okay. Right. You should taste that, Kat, just to see how hot it is. I was very surprised. When you get to the coffee part, it's, you know, obviously the foam's not going to be all jacked up hot. The bean hopper, I forgot to mention that. These bean hoppers each hold 2.9 uh, 2 pounds of coffee. So that's a lot of coffee. Mm. And the wattage, 6,700 watts. Wow. And two and 220 voltage, right? 220, yeah. Okay, cool. Was that hot? Yeah, it was hot. So if you're gonna, we'll show how this guy works. So you just stick, put it there. You don't turn it on you and don't then move let it. it go. There's a little sensor down there, and if you move it around, you're gonna fool the sensor and it's gonna shut it off. Okay. So this side, if you push, is for uh, more steamed milk, less froth, and this is more froth, like you'd want on a. Uh, cup of And this is, is not hot. Oh. The only part that's hot is the tip. Not that loud either. Mm -mm. And you just keep it going until you're done? or oh. It shuts off automatically. It has a heat sensor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So... When you take and do a little work through, work it in a little bit. Nice. Not bad. Mm -mm. It's better than the automatic one, actually. Yeah. Put this over here. Go. Give a squirt. Okay. Cool. What is this? I mean, geez. All right. Um, and then you want to pull a couple shots and sure see how that goes. Shots. Yeah. How they look on their own. You can adjust the grind up here on each one of these too. There's a little rotating wheel for each one of these hoppers. Oh, cool. Yep. It's coming out a little bit faster. We probably need to adjust the grind down, but I'm not going to mess with it too much. Well, it's, it's, okay. it's just on loan to us. It's going back to, to its home. To, to its, the, its cruise ship. Yeah, back to its cruise ship. Yeah, a little on the sour side. Yeah. But all right. It was fast. Good good temp. You know, I would, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would, um, I had, well, no, I have, I did use it yesterday. I'm thinking if there was any stale grounds in there. Oh. Why it came out fast, because we did kind of dial it in a little bit earlier. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I guess that's it. That's the big behemoth. That's, that's a cool it. commercial machine. It's big and it's a behemoth. Thanks, Gail. You're welcome.